here's how you retrieve and turn it in report or originality report from a Dropbox within my courses powered by Desire to Learn. First, you want to go to content, go to the Dropbox that has the final draft or file in which you are going to place your document. And you go here, you'll see here that it is enabled. These little icon shows that there's originality check enabled. You click here, go down. Here you can add a file. So we're going to go ahead and upload a file from our documents area. Just click add when you've uploaded it. And you should see it here. And you can just make a comment if you would like. You don't have to. You can just say for instance, a message to your instructor, and then you finally hit submit. Now when that's complete, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see, to view original reports for this submission, go to the submission history page for this Dropbox folder. So we click view history, and I'll see here the one I just placed in, these are some older ones, here it says in progress. So you have to wait for a little bit of time for it to actually uh, show up. But what you want to do is you perhaps can keep hitting reload and it will provide for you an update. So after a little bit of a wait, my report has come back here and you can see it's at 100, which is not necessarily where you want it to be. 100 shows that it is 100% uh, lack of originality actually which is really not the case. Actually, this paper has been submitted previously, so that would happen if you had submitted it to another class, which I wouldn't recommend. But at any rate, here we go. Here's the report. You can click on it, and you can take a look, and it will show you where you have sort of borrowed from things. In this case, the whole paper has been submitted before, so it's just saying it's been submitted to St. Petersburg College before at some point. In other instances, you might see, I'm going to look back here, some of the other ones. I'm going to look at this one if I can. You'll see here different places that these things are borrowed from. And if you are borrowing slightly from different uh, sources, you'll definitely want to give attribution. Cite your sources, as been done here. You definitely don't want to have it so that you're plagiarizing. That's kind of the point of the tool of Turnitin is to give you an idea of understanding. It's an idea of learning for you and for the professor. So hopefully that gives you some idea of how to actually utilize Turnitin. Um, happy paper writing.